let's go inside and uh, let's see that this, this is talking about switching between the activities any Android application is comprised like I said there could be more than one activity which is existing there and then you want to transact data or even just want to navigate from one activity to other activity this you can achieve with the help of uh, intent so intent is one of the class in Android which allows you to send messages or intimation to respective components in Android to perform certain tasks. <clears throat> now, second thing I would come to is I hope I have uh, clarified, uh, you are clarified with the concepts explained so far with the help of intent and uh, the activity. Are we all clear so far with this? Nikita, Ashish, Jitin, are you all clear so far with this? Okay, cool. Everyone is clear. So I've got answer from Nikita and understood. Ashish understood. Jitin has understood. Okay, everyone has understood. Yeah. So going ahead with this now, any Android application will compile of many activities. The same what I was saying uh, that you might need to send data from one activity to another activity. For an example, let's say, let's take an example. Now what I want is when I have an application which I which has a login page, then once you enter the login page, then it comes the home page. What I want is once my user logged in to the login page, I want to show this user ID by which user has logged in always on my home page at the top. Now this is something what I want is, is I am trying to access the data from the login activity on my home activity. From the login screen from on my home screen. So this is somewhat called as transferring or transacting the data from one activity to other. Where I am transacting the data from the login activity to my home activity. Now how do I achieve it? Uh, for understanding it, there are certain methods which will allow you to do this like intent.put extra will allow you to send the v key value pairs like the value which you are sending is the val and you are putting a key to it. The same on the other side you need to extract it. Let's see an example 